Miguel, again, uh, welcome to the club, and uh, I just want to get some of your thoughts on, you know, how this transition has been and, and where you you feel like it is, because obviously a mid-season trade presents some challenges as you try to get acquainted to a new team. Thanks, Dave. Um, yeah, like you said, it, for me, it's, it's my first time in my career doing this. Um, obviously, I think week one was also a crazy week. Uh, I think I came in, trained, uh, trained Tuesday, we had Byron on Wednesday, so that's not a typical week. Um, so, you know, we really had only, only two days, really, of training last week, and I think slowly, slowly getting more integrated and, and getting to know the guys, getting to how they play, um, how they are. So I think this week seems like a normal week. And, I, you know, I would say we're, we're kind of we're, we're picking it up a little bit more and, and it's exciting to, to see how it goes going forward. That's Steve Goss. Hey, Miguel, thanks for your time. Uh, what, uh, what's it like being a new guy into the unit and, and other players are obviously coming in, some are waiting for work visas, um, and there might be future signings. Uh, a lot of fluctuation here. Um, how does a, how's a group able to come together mid-season um, with, uh, with, with new pieces um, playing into the, playing into the, the, the lineup and the, and the pattern, rotation? Um, yeah, like you said, I was the new guy for about six hours, and then there's someone else who was the, the newer guy. But, um, you know, I think, I think it comes down to uh, having clear roles and, and, and duties out on the field. And I think, uh, you know, obviously soccer is a, is, is, is a great icebreaker for, for anyone, no matter, you know, where you come from, what language you speak. Uh, I think you can communicate on the field, uh, you know, with the ball, with, with how, you, how you move, how, how you interact with your teammates. So I think, uh, I think getting to know each other obviously is a, is a key factor, but... Um, you know, having a clear defined role makes it easy. It's almost just plug and play. So, you know, obviously we have things to learn. I think, uh, you know, guys here had, you know, an extra three days with, with the current current coaching staff, you know, three more days than I did. So it's really, it's fresh for everyone. So we're all kind of learning at the same time. Go back to Dave Johnson. Miguel, uh, how is it, uh, Chad was just talking about, you know, with the change, everybody's got a clean slate and a chance to, you know, audition audition for roles and and also just when uh, your head coach is one of the greatest goal scorers ever, uh, <laughs> how do you wrap your head around that or how how do you foresee that as a as a, a positive? Um, I mean, for me, it's it's obviously he has you know it's insight into the position. I think uh, empathy and in, in understanding and in, in how the position is played and and you know I think. He, realistic goals and targets and I, I've spoken with Ravel an awful lot who I had him last year at Darby County and I think uh, I think he said you know it's, it's a good good system to play for uh, as a number nine so you know for me I'm looking forward to it I'm excited uh, I similar for me you know when I had Landon Donovan when I was on loan in San Diego I think it's you know similar kind of situation uh, guys who've been at the top and who can offer incredible insights into the position and I think uh, obviously um, you know Wayne was at, you know at the top 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 so uh, it's it's very exciting, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, you know interacting day to day and, and helping him helping me grow as a player. What a Jeff Strauss. Miguel, you've had some fair some fair amount of success against uh, Orlando, two goals in your last three games against them. Uh, how do you continue that uh, this weekend? Uh, hard work, getting to good spots. I think uh, both of my goals against Orlando last year, I think I, I, I moved well. I, I, I got in good spots, and, and I was there to finish, and I think it's, it's more of the same. Uh, you know, I think this year I actually played them earlier this season, and I think I had you know, one kind of half chance that got blocked. So I think it's, it's more of the same. Uh, you know, work hard and get in good spots. Oh, something caught. I don't know if I was muted for that. Oh, I was muted. Oh. Can you guys hear me now? <laughs> okay, well, did you get any of that? <laughs> I need to restart, Miguel. Sorry about that. Okay. Sure no, no problem. Um, yeah, so like I said, just, just about uh, working hard, getting in the good spots, uh, moving off the ball. Um, am I muted again here? No, I'm good. Uh, yeah, moving off the ball and, and, and getting good spots and, and just, you know, hope, hopefully, you know, work with my teammates. They find me, I find the ball. Uh, just, just simple, you know, striker play. Uh, and I think there, there are gaps there. there. There are ways where there can be success. So it's ex looking forward to the game, obviously. Dave Johnson. And, and Miguel, you mentioned uh, you, you talked to Ravel, and he said it, it's a, he played for him at Derby County last year, and it's a good system 
for, for another nine. Why, why is that? Could you just elaborate on that? Um, he said he, the chance creation's there, and I think, uh, you know, so far in my understanding, I think, um, you know, like I said, clear roles are something as a player that, that are in, extremely important. I think there are clear roles here, and, and I think it, it's, a, it's a system where all 11 guys are going to work hard. Um, you know, I think I don't think it's a system where, where there's going to be any luxury players who, who don't work, and I think for me that's perfect. That, that's how I play. That's how I love, love to play. So um, I think, you know, if you work hard, you get rewarded. So in my understanding, that's, that's how it is, and, you know, I guess we'll see going forward. But, you know, for me, that's, that's as exciting as it gets because, you know, if, if you're rewarded for hard work, then what more could you want? Miguel, that's it. Thanks so much, man. Perfect. Thank you, guys.